This is a, a lady that I have seen now for about five years. Uh, she has been in treatment, however, really began in 1976. So she's had a long history of treatment. That is really typical of these people. She had perhaps four diagnoses before she was diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder or multiple personality disorders, it was called then. Uh, first of all, she was diagnosed schizophrenic and spent some time in a state hospital being treated for schizophrenia because she kept talking about the voices in her head. The interesting thing is, though, having worked with schizophrenics, they can't control the voices in their heads, and you certainly can't talk to the voices in their heads. However, you can talk to the voices, and the voices will talk back to you with a person with dissociative identity disorder because it really is a separate identity, um, and the person is trying to give you some information. So it's, it's different in that regard. But she was first seen um, by a professional a psychiatrist in 1976 when she came in uh, for severe depression. She had a history of several suicide attempts in her early 20s, and at that time she was in nursing school. Uh, the, the problems um, were related to the fact that she would have this depression, um, be very suicidal, and then she would switch, and that's a term you hear a lot, switch, and become sort of a different person and complain about compulsive spending, uh, sexual promiscuity, which uh, she would find herself with a wake up with some man she, she didn't even know, and was very upset about this. Um, during these times, she'd have uh, periods, we would call them hypomanic during these times, and so she would be very happy and excited and talking a lot and spend, as I said, spending money. And very poor social judgment, drinking excessively. Um, at that time, she was then given the diagnosis of what we would, they then called manic depressive disorder. Uh, we would call bipolar disorder today. And I give you a little bit, she was treated, of course, with a lot of medication. She was treated with uh, antipsychotic medications. There are some disastrous side effects with those uh, over the long term. She developed some problems. She was treated with lithium. She was treated with a variety of medications. None really helped the condition. Now they certainly sedated her, but these changes in her were still occurring. Give you some background. Um, she grew up on the East Coast. Uh, this came out, of course, in therapy. Um, father committed suicide, his mother committed suicide, and two paternal uncles committed suicide. Father was alcoholic, mother was alcoholic. And what came out in the course of our therapy was that this woman had been used sexually from the time she was quite young by both parents, and because they were socially prominent, they would also have parties in which she would be, by the age of 11, um, be the prize for certain games they would play. And she would be used sexually by her parents' friends. 